Hello guys, how are you today? Guys, listen carefully and focus on our lesson so that you have something to learn. Alright, now that we are done in tools and materials needed in dressmaking, we will continue our lesson. Our lesson for today is all about carry out measurements and calculations. This unit of competency specifies the outcomes required to, to carry out measurements and perform simple calculations to determine tasks and material requirements for a job in dressmaking. This unit of competency supports achievement of skills to take measurements and use this to calculate material qualities and calculations for related tasks, okay, commonly used and applied in dressmaking. That's why carry out measurements and calculations are very important to get the exact and accurate measurement of the pattern that you will make. Alright? Napakahalaga nito nang sa ganon, makuha mo yung tamang sukat, yung calculation, yung measurement ng gagawin mong pattern para sa dressmaking. Alright? Like what I've said before, taking body measurements is very important in order to produce a well-fitted garment and it must be accurate. Without measurements, a pattern cannot be drafted to produce a well-fitted dress. That's why taking body measurements also important when it comes in dressmaking, alright? Next, parts of body to be measured can be taken in horizontal measurement, vertical measurement, and circumferential measurement. The first one is horizontal measurement. Kapag sinabing horizontal, pahiga. Alright? Horizontal measurement is taken from the left of the figure to the right. Alright? Vertical measurement is taken from the top of the body figure to its base. Alright? And last one, circumferential measurement is taken around the body. Alright? Now, I will show you the proper way of taking body measurement. The, the first one is bus. How can we measure bus? Bus, it is measured around the chest over the fullest part of the breast. Ayan, kung makikita nyo, no? Next, bus to bus. It is measured from bus point to bus point. It is measured by positioning the tape measure from the highest part of the breast to the other. Alright? Magkikita nyo, no? Upper bust and lower bust. It is measured directly above the bust line. And the lower bust, it is measured directly under the bust line. Alright? That's the difference between upper and lower bust. Next, waist. Ito yung baywang natin. It is measured around the abdomen or the smallest part of the torso or body. Alright, tatandaan nyo yan, no? Next, hips. It is measured from the widest part of the hips or buttocks. Yan yung uh, sa may pitan natin. Alright? And next one, hip depth. It is measured from the waistline from um, down to the widest part of the hip. Dito, sinusukat natin kung gaano kahaba or kalapad yung pagitan ng waist at ng hip. Alright? Next. Shoulder to best. It is measured from the tip of the shoulder down to the bust. Alright? Next, front neck to waist. It is taken. It is taken from the center front neck down to the 
waistline. Ayan. Alright, next. Shoulder to shoulder. It is measured across the back of neck. No? From the from one socket shoulder to the other socket of the shoulder. Ayan. Next. Shoulder to neck. Ayan. It is measured um, at the base of the neck down uh, till the outside of the shoulder. Ayan. Next. Back shoulder to waist. It is taken down the... It is taken down to the back line of the body from the most prominent bone of the neck. Alright? Down along the waistline. Ayan, kung magkikita nyo. And full back or back width, it is measured across the broadest part of the shoulder from right shoulder to the other point. Alright? Next, the sleeve hole. It is measured um, from the widest part of the upper arm. Alright? Ayan sa may kilikili natin. Ayan. Bicep. It is measured around the fullest part of, all of the bicep or the upper arm. Under the upper arm. Alright? Next, elbow. It is measured from the fullest part of the elbow. Ayan. Point of elbow. Kaya kung makikita nyo, ano, it is measured from, from the edge of the shoulder down along to the elbow. Alright? Next, side seam. Ayan, it is measured from the upper arm down to the waistline. Ayan. Next, shirt length. Ayan. It is measured from the nape back down to the desired length. Ayan. Kung magkikita nyo, kung gaano kahaba yung t-shirt na gusto mong um, gawin. No? Next, sleeve length. It is measured from the tip of the shoulder down to the wrist. Ayan. Next, crotch or rise. It is measured from the front of the waist to the uh, front of the waist through the back of your waist. Alright. Next, desired bottom or hem circumference or leg hole. It is measured from the fullest part of the bottom. Ayan, kung gaano kaluwang yung gusto mo dun sa may ilalim na paa. Alright? Next, knee length. It is measured from the waistline down to the knee. Ayan. Next, length of pants or shorts. No? Uh, it is measured from the waistline down to the desired length. Ayan, kung magigita nyo. Next, thigh. It is measured from the fullest part of the thigh. Ito yung kita. Okay? Yung kita natin. Next, it is measured from the fullest part of the knee. Okay, bakit kailangan natin sukatan yung knee natin? Nang sa ganon, malaman natin kung gaano kaluwang o kasikip yung gusto nating gawin or ipagawa. Alright? Now that you have learned the proper way of taking body measurement, I will show you a video tutorial of making a pattern in dressmaking. Alright? Hi guys! In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to draft an easy basic bodice block. As this is a tutorial for beginners, I have made sure that you will need as little body measurements as possible. Before we get started, it would be great if you could subscribe, that way you will know instantly when new tutorials are released. Also, if you do like this video, then please give it a big thumbs up. For the front bodice, you will need 7 measurements. Each horizontal measurement should be measured around the front half of your body, basically from side seam to side seam. The side length should be measured from under your arms down to your waist. Start by drawing a vertical line equal to your full front length. From 
Plan D, draw a diagonal line equal to your shoulder length that ends touching at line AC. On line AB, mark your centre front length from B. This line should be drawn at an approximate 45 degree angle. Make sure the neckline curve touches point G. Draw a 1 inch line from L to M at a 45 degree angle. Make sure your armhole curve is as smooth as possible. Measure down 2 inches from H. From point I, draw your side length towards point O. Take half of your front waist measurement, add 1 quarter of an inch, then minus the length of BQ. Make sure your ruler is held at 90 degrees to line QR. And that is it for your front bodice. Similarly for the back, you will need to take 7 measurements. The back bust is measured directly behind where you measured your front bust. Minus 3 quarters of an inch from the length of GN. Draw your side length from point H towards point M. If your side length extends past point M, gently curve it upwards. On the shoulder line, mark the midpoint. Then on either side of the midpoint, measure and mark one quarter of an inch. Then above those points, mark one eighth of an inch. From point S, draw a line to those points. Then redraw the shoulder to points D and E. Your front and back bodice should look like this. Next I'll be showing you how to construct your bodice, so be sure to subscribe so you know when it's out. Thanks for watching guys, see ya! Okay guys, now that you have learned the proper way of taking body measurement and making a pattern in dressmaking when it comes in dressmaking, um, I hope you learned a lot, no? marami kayong natutunan at maasa ako na may a-apply nyo yung lesson natin na pinag-aralan kapag gumawa na kayo ng sarili nyong pattern sa pagkawa ng dress or kung kahit ano pa man yan, alright? Thank you for listening guys and that's all for today. Good day and God bless you all.